Grand Finals for doubles. Da 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 -dum. Of course, gonna go ahead to Starterville. Soon be joined by Professing. Three, two, ah, I should probably put the things. So, Sonic Luigi. Uh, Luigi in Doubles is kind of a finicky character. Um, personally, especially with the way Rush plays, he's pretty quick and attentive. Um, if there's someone getting fresh... Ooh, nope, no kills up top yet. Um, if there's someone attentive, uh, Rush will be attentive, go ahead and jab, jab, go for a grab. He's going to be grabbing all over the place because Luigi's throws uh, are going to be pretty great. Uh, both can follow up off that down throw. Both Sonic and Luigi's... Uh, but it was going to lead into some pretty cool stuff. Um, let me see. But as, as, for, it. as for confirms, unsure. Um, oh, wow! Oh, no. Always, always with. Always with the Ouija missile. Something, always something strange. Let me see. Okay, that was pretty good. Good tech there, good shield. Damn, Daniel. Alright. Usually it's gonna be a Sonic down throw. Let's use like maybe an up smash. If they're, if they're trying to go for a kill up high, they're probably gonna go downwards. And I'm here, joined by Professing SSB. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome a Professing. Sweet. Alrighty. So far it's been looking pretty, pretty decent. Um, here. You have Luigi. Luigi, you just missed the Luigi missile, went and hit. It hit Wispy. And oh, dude. Yeah, Sonic's definitely living, and especially with uh, Rush heading in there to go ahead and separate them, he's more than likely going to be able to separate them with the way he plays. Unfortunately, though, uh, no, no Luigi Cyclones yet, so it's all coming down to play rather than getting the Cyclone game. Especially against Luigi. Ooh. The B-Mash. Ooh. The collateral. Collateral, guys. As long as they can get this Diddy stock, then it's going to be going into Blue Team's favor. Um, but besides that, Cloud's just going to be holding back and keeping onto that limit. As you say that, his eliminated. Uh, usually, what, what you'll see here is Wispy will go ahead and go for the monkey flip and then send him downwards, which leaves him stunned, and then Red Nine will follow up with a, uh, a limit break. Oh. Let's see. Whoa! Wow. Who'd have thought? Damn, Daniel. I think Rush has got to be careful here. He keeps he keeps having a shield and had his shield broken now. And look 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 how tiny that thing is. It's, it's definitely a tough one. He's got to be careful here too. Ooh. Oh. Ooh, that was a good spot dodge. He 
he's playing as patient as possible, waiting for an opening to come out from Red Nine. But the thing is, he keeps he keeps shielding, and it's it's definitely not good. We'll have a repeat of what? Oh, an up tilt. So definitely he was playing like the right way because I think trying to go rush in and trying to get after Cloud is Luigi, you're not going to have a fun time. Game two on TNC. Oh, I'm sticking the same. Um, usually, something will really be looking rough for. Um, what he's been doing is uh, it'd be Sonic Cloud for Team uh, Blue Rush. But uh, I guess he's feeling more. thinking he's, he's able to take uh, get more damage to Luigi. Yeah, I, I understand the idea of not wanting to do a Cloud against a, a Team Diddy and an actual Cloud main. But Probably because the actual Cloud main is obviously going to be uh, more experienced in a lot of situations than you. You don't want to be at that de deficit. And also, Diddy does really well on his cloud, so he almost just slid into his dude. That was scary. Oh. oh, yeah, a little bit of botch punish right there. Red. Oh, man. These are, these are not the hits they're looking for. Yeah. Uh-oh. Hit him. Oh. I can't. Oh, oh wow. Oh, man. I was gonna be very surprised if someone got out of that without dying. Imagine, imagine if he just went for like the karate chop. And there goes the barrel. Oh mm -hmm. man, not like this. Folks. All right, nice, nice clean punish from Wispy. And he didn't even get punished for it. He was looking. I think he was like, oh. And there's another one. He's cleaning up. Now Red Nine, I have I have pretty good confidence that Red Nine can stretch his stock pretty far because I know how safe he can play. I know how how good his movement is in certain situations. He's gonna be pretty evasive. Ooh, oh. As he is right now, it's been a while since someone's touched him. You know, had to end at some point. But. I think he wow. Ooh. Okay, almost. Too low, too low. I don't know how he was able. I don't know how he was able to avoid punishment for so long, but it had to end at the hands of his partner. Not the right choice there. But I you can't say you didn't get good mileage out of that first stock. Yeah, okay. So I noticed that Wispy really likes to in neutral when both blue team are on one side and both red team are on one side. He loves to just, uh, just charge in with that smash input uh, side B. Which I guess I guess it puts him in a pretty good position, you know. It gives him some options. He can either uh, press the button to attack or he can jump off and uh, set up for a team combo. Precisely. They've been doing it pretty well all day today. Um, you just saw right there, he got like the, uh, the sour hit of the fair, which sent him forward, and then immediately Wispy jumped back in to build up more damage. Um, but let's see here. If we, if, we, if we pay attention, it's just like... Not looking fun for Luigi. Oh, we got Nair right out of it. And that spaced forward is safe on shield, especially against Luigi. Slidey Luigi. Oh, dash attack. Oh, all right. And he's living the backyard. That was a pretty good situation for uh, for blue team here. They're now in position to make a deep, pretty decent comeback if they can end Red Nine stock ASAP. Oh, that, that oh yeah, he rolled right into that. Wispy was very ready for that. And also something Blue Striker likes to do, he loves to stay up there in the sky, which uh, for, for some purposes is good, but it also opens him up to, to juggling, as long as his partner's not there to save him. Talking about Wispy and Red Nine? Oh, I'm talking about Blue Striker Blue being stuck in the sky. Just like staying in the sky? Yeah, with the up B, like even if he gets the up air, what he likes to do is up B and pressure you into air dodging, and then like the classic air dodge re up air and then blast him. But that throw was not the play right there. I don't know. 
we're, we're seeing we're seeing a lot of Luigi. More than likely, we're gonna be seeing a switch in the next one. Right. Honestly, I, I think he should go Sheik, like his actual main. Yeah. I don't know why he doesn't. He never goes Sheik in, in doubles. Sheik's not a bad doubles character. And I think Sheik Sonic could be oh. pretty good too. Not the hit. So they're looking to reset this unless they have an answer for this. He has he has a cloud, he has Luigi. He's gonna Ness. He has Ness and a Sheik. I can't imagine anyone who wanna go Ness against a Diddy and a Cloud though. Definitely not. Oh. I'm hoping we're gonna be seeing the Sheik here. But wow. nope, the classic. So with these two, it's like peanut butter and jelly. Because you're gonna have all these, especially down throw from Sonic. You're gonna have like back throw, a, a lot of really good throws from so uh, Sonic, and then Cloud's gonna be able to just be like, "Do you mind if I take this?" And then either get it like a really good kill or build up like a shit ton of damage. Right. Sonic, Sonic might have the best throw for team combos in the game. It's it just keeps you down there. The amount of knockback growth doesn't change the height at all. So. So I see Wispy out here on the top platform. Oh my gosh, yeah, he, he didn't aim for the ledge. As did he, to minimize the amount of that happening, you have to aim yourself right below the ledge. But uh, he didn't angle himself like that. But prior to that, he was keeping blue team, both of them, off stage for quite a bit. He was keeping stage control for his partner. Oh. It looked like he wasn't going to be able to make it after going for that down air, but he was able to get bumped up by the rocket barrel. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, okay, the nair, that was interesting. <laughs> I can't imagine that was on purpose, because who uses Rising there? There are some better options for that. Oh, no. I like that, trying to follow up with the barrels. That was interesting. Uh-oh. Yeah, even after, that, uh, even after that early death from Wispy, we've got a pretty nice lead here. Looking pretty tough with Blue Team here. Absolutely. Oh man. Especially now. Wispy is just going wild. He just wants to send everyone down to the dunk zone. Oh yeah, it's oh, over, dude. No. Uh, yeah. We're gonna see a bracket reset. Oh man. It's gonna be a excuse me, a long grand finals. Yeah, Wispy, he he wanted that. Oh no. Oh. That was yeah. pretty Yeah, he saved him, he sacrificed stuff. Wispy's choice there was okay. He, if you get your partner off stage, what you can either do is save your stock by flicking up or hitting the jump button and jumping off his head, which essentially would have killed Cloud, or he could have hit him and saved Cloud. So I mean, he, he chose to save Cloud. I'm not sure what percent Wispy was at before that. So either or, he's uh, he's, he sees that he's, uh, Cloud's got plenty of stock, so he's like, if I at least lose one, I at least have a backup, be able to share that stock. Oh yeah, I don't think I don't think it really cares about being safe anymore after this lead that they have. Yeah, I, I can't say the switch from Rush was a good choice here. Uh -oh. oh, he tried to cover all the options, but it didn't quite work out. So that first one's gonna go ahead. Is there a different market show talking about? He got a bracket. Is there a different reset. market show I'm talking about? Oh, you said Mark is? Yeah, Mark. Oh, uh, I said Mark is my best. Hold on, guys.